Welcome to the training area of the Officials Mind. Each month we will introduce a new skill building concept that will help officials improve their game. This month features a college athlete who will talk about the concept of thought stopping and parking from his own experience. Kyle Swanner, a scholar athlete from Quincy University, will introduce this concept and tell you about how this technique has helped him. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Kyle Swanner. I am a soccer athlete at Quincy University. Now today, what I'm going to be talking to you about is uh, thought stopping and parking. So thought stopping and parking is a cognitive uh, technique which helps eliminate any negative, self-defeating, or any anxiety-related thoughts. For example, I'll take my dad. My dad was a professional athlete. He played for 15 years. He was a goalkeeper for the St. Louis Ambush. And he, he would always tell me that I always have to take a positive from a negative. So if he lets in a goal, like he used to say, he was mad at himself, but then he always had to think and stop and say, it's just one goal. Don't, don't think about it too much. Let it go. Get on to the next one. You still have to play the rest of the game. So what start, stopping and parking makes you do is instead of you just beating yourself up the rest of the game, it makes you think and actually think about how that, that mistake, it happens. We're human. No one's perfect. Nobody's going to be 100% every time. We all make mistakes. And if you just stop to think about that, it'll help you realize that, okay, I'm all right. Had a bad pass, whatever. Game's still playing. Let's keep it going. And for my example, for me, um, I used to be at SIUE University. It is in Southern Illinois. Um, I was there when I was 17 because I graduated high school early. And every time all my coach, uh, all my athletic trainers would always tell me that I need to get bigger and stronger and even faster. And so what I did, I did that. I helped uh, improve my game. I helped my game get better. But then they kept telling me, now all I need is speed. And I said I got speed, I got all that, and it didn't work. So in my eyes, I was failing, I was a failure. I wasn't doing what they needed, and I wasn't improving on myself. But then I realized that you need to have faith in yourself, and you need to believe in yourself, because once you lose that, then everything is over. I, I remember when I would come home from training some days, and I wouldn't talk to anybody. I would just go straight to my room and just leave it like that. And I did that for six months. And that six months was awful. I was sitting on the bench, I wasn't playing. Coach said I was playing well, but he wouldn't put me in because of my athleticism. Well, this is what I think about the athleticism. I got a tattoo here, it says strength and speed with a soccer ball. Now, at the time I was getting this tattoo, um, I was thinking to myself, well, I need strength and speed. And this is more, and maybe I should just get this down for everyone that said that I didn't have it. But now I think it's more than that. And now I think the tattoo means to me that it's almost belief in myself and believing that I can do good, I will improve and I will do better. And it's just the fact that you can take control of your life. So in the end, this is Kyle Swanner from Quincy University saying that you have the tools, you can get the desire and the passion to take control and have fun and succeed in your life. Thank you.